the Mercedes-Benz S-Guard. This vehicle provides the greatest ballistic protection. The pack's tires also play a major role. Even when depressurized, they still enable the S-Guard to drive many kilometers. But what does the interior of a pack's wheel actually look like? The supporting ring is the secret behind the excellent run-flat characteristics. It is mounted on the asymmetric rim and bears the vehicle's high weight if the tire is punctured. If air escapes from the tire, then the steel cables and the beads are pressed against the rim as a result of the special carcass design. This prevents the tire from slipping off the rim. A depressurized packed tire can travel a distance of up to 30 kilometers at a maximum speed of 80 kilometers an hour. What is the difference between an MOE tire and a PAX tire? The MOE tires fitted on the new E-Guard, for example, do not have a supporting ring. The reinforced sidewalls are adequate to support the weight of this vehicle and provide the run-flat capability. All PAX tires are fitted with tire pressure sensors. These are available from two different manufacturers and are incompatible. The valve nut is the visible difference. The transition to the hexagonal nut has a square edge for Siemens VDO and a beveled edge for Schrader. If a vehicle with PAX run flat tires arrives in your workshop, then you must take a number of things into consideration. Remove the mechanical emergency key from the transmitter key and open the window in order to avoid accidentally locking yourself out of the vehicle. Then position the arms of the vehicle lift. Please note, the S-Guard is a true heavyweight. It weighs approximately 4 tons. That is why the vehicle lift must be approved for the load. Now raise the vehicle lift slightly, but only until the wheels are a short distance above the ground. Now Star Diagnosis has a short job to do. Select the control units and then go to undercarriage. and then select TPM tire pressure monitoring and then current values check the battery charge status for the TPM sensors everything is okay here now we continue with the removal of the packs tire as it weighs approximately 45 kilograms it should only be slightly above the floor as described the actual removal process is the same as with every other wheel. So remove the wheel bolts and then you can carefully remove the wheel. Now for the fitting. First rotate the brake disc until one wheel bolt thread is in the 12 o'clock position. Then attach the wheel. Press your knees against the vehicle. Important! First tighten the wheel bolts several rotations by hand before you use the pneumatic wrench. Then tighten the bolts to the specified torque and set the correct tire pressure. Activate the tire pressure monitoring during the subsequent test run.